Hello and welcome back. I'm Lucy Wheeler, the legal expert for online business owners. In this video, I'm going to be chatting to you all about how to make six figures with a really small audience. So if you don't know me, I'm Lucy Wheeler, the founder of Lucy Legal, the online templates shop, which supports entrepreneurs with all the legal elements they need for running a business. We've also got courses too. And within that, I have managed to uh, monetize my social media platforms using mostly Instagram, but also Facebook a bit as well. And in leaving my, soon after leaving my job and going full time within the business, I had made over six figures and that was with less than 3000 social media followers. Now, the game has changed. We are in 2022 as I'm filming this and what worked before doesn't work anymore necessarily. It depends what you were doing. If you were someone who was sort of spamming people using bots, all of those kind of things, they didn't really work that well before, and they certainly don't work now. In this video, I'm gonna share with you two tips, just two really simple things which will help you to scale your online business um, when you're using social media. So the first thing that you need to do is network. It's called social media for a reason. You've gotta be social. So when I'm saying network, I don't mean those super awkward drinks, things that you go to where you have a glass of cheap wine, which is horrible, and you hate being there, and it's the kind of events where you have to sit on awkward chairs and it just feels horrible. Network online is totally different to that. And what you need to be doing is getting yourself in front of audiences that are gonna love you so that you can show up and shine and just be incredible um, and, be the person that you are and share your offering in a non-spammy, non-salesy way, um, but just getting in front of the right people. So if say, for example, you are a fitness expert and you really want to help burnt out women um, who are maybe working full time or maybe they're entrepreneurs and you don't know how to, um, how to monetize it, how to grow it. You've got some people following you, but how are you gonna find people that really need your support? You're gonna go to groups where those people already exist. So for example, you might go to someone who runs a membership for entrepreneurs. So how to grow and scale your business, there are loads of memberships for that. You as the fitness expert can go to one of those people and say, look, I know that your entrepreneurs are working so hard, they're flat out, they have really low energy, they're getting no sleep, they're doing all of the things themselves, why do we do that when we start out? We do everything ourselves. We have to stop doing that. Um, and you go in as the expert and say, I can help them to sleep better. I can help them perhaps with their cycle, um, whatever it might be, nutrition, um, tips to boost mood, tips to um, help them in the afternoon if they're in an afternoon slump. And you can go in as the expert and do a training there. And you find out, obviously, um, whether you can pitch to them or not. Um, because sometimes people don't want to be pitched to, but you don't necessarily have to pitch to make it worthwhile. You just go and show them that you're knowledgeable, get them to come to you, get them to move to you. So say, it might be an, an, that you're not gonna say how they can work with you, but you can say, make sure that you're allowed to say where they can find you. So you'll give them your handle and you'll say, I'm so-and-so, um, I'm at, for me, it's at Lucy underscore legal on Instagram come and follow us. Um, and you tell people what it is so they can follow you. Um, and then you nurture them from there. And when they're, and nurturing is the second point. So I'll talk to you about that in a moment, but it's about getting the right people. And you can do this in so many different ways. You can do it either just on social media by being social and talking to people and being in the right groups. So maybe in a, be in a Facebook group. Um, and I'm not saying spend your whole life in a Facebook group because no one wants to do that. But if you follow people, if you follow people online and you genuinely are interested, there will be times when that busy entrepreneur will say, does anybody have any tips as to how I can get through the day without caffeine? Um, or you can create content that you know that they will love and you can tag them in it so that they share it with their audience. So you give them something to make their lives easier so they invite you in and build this network. And it doesn't have to be a formal training. You could just say, can we chat on LinkedIn? Can I help you and your business? Um, sorry, on LinkedIn or live, just be just being live on social media. Can you do a live together um, on a certain topic? And they want that because it gives their audience value and it helps you because it helps you to network. So with network being one tip, tip two is all about nurturing people. 
when people come to you online, they do not know who you are and they don't necessarily trust you. And it's so hard to explain that to people sometimes because they think, oh, everyone's making millions, everyone's making six figures online. Um, people now talk about seven and eight figures online, which is just ridiculous. Um, and on that point, just because a business makes six figures, you might be turning over that in revenue but it doesn't mean that you are actually taking that home in the bank. Um, you end up having a team to pay, um, you outsource more. You may, I know a lot of people who still don't even pay themselves. I actually asked this question recently on social media, whether people, whether people pay themselves a salary. Lots of people, it actually came out, there was four answers, but it was split into thirds. A third of people said they paid themselves the same every month. A third of people said they paid themselves um, every month, the, the amount changed. The remaining, so the remaining third, but split into six, so a sixth of people said that they don't pay themselves anything. And the remaining sixth, um, to make up that third, said that they pay themselves 700-ish pounds, so it's that 736.66 uh, tax, tax threshold thing. So maybe people then are taking dividends, but you want to be taking a set amount every month. You you are in business to um, fund a lifestyle and create a life you love. And that's what I want for you. Um, you want to be able to say to me, Lucy, I don't want to do the legal elements. Can I just get a template? Because I don't want to try and draft a contract and I'm not wasting hours of my life um, trying to do a contract. Please just let me buy a template. That's where you want to be with things. And so when I'm saying to you about nurturing, you need to do things. You need to tell people who you are. So I'm videoing, videoing this, recording this video to tell you about me, to tell you about what we do. Um, you might buy from me. You might buy from me today. You might buy from me next week. It might be a month because you're like, hmm, she seems pretty cool. She seems like a nice lady. I'd like to, to get to know her a bit more because I'm not sure. I need to I need to learn to see what she's like. Does she show up? Does she just come in when she wants to sell something? Because we see that a lot too, don't we, in the online space? And I think it, it's important for someone like me to call that out, to say, I have a duty to you, as do you to your clients, to not just show up when you want to sell something. Because I'm going to go with a passionate business owner who's always there, who does show me the hard stuff, who shows me what it's like trying to manage a business with their child, trying to show the juggle. I don't just want to see the highlight reel and your, your community don't want to see that too. And so when I'm saying nurturing, I'm not saying go through a nurture sequence and just write emails to people. I'm saying show up and share the reality of running your business, share things that are going to be valuable, give give more than you take um, with all of this and find ways to support people. Can you, how can you make their lives better? How can you support them? Give them things for free. We've just run um, a whole week boot camp where we supported people with the legal elements of running their business entirely for free because that's our business ethos and we really want to help as many business owners as possible to get the legal elements in place. And similarly, that's why I'm sharing my expertise here. I see the inside of so many businesses and I'm a business owner myself. I have two of my own businesses. Um, I know what works. I know how to scale a business um, to six figures and beyond in the online space. And that's what makes us experts as well um, as lawyers. So within the law firm, I support a number of um, other online business owners. Online business is different to normal business. And as a lawyer, understanding that and the way things work, it, we're different. We, we get it. You don't have to tell us about um, funnels and what people have seen on sales pages and that kind of thing. We, we get how all of that works. We can advise you on the best things um, for your business in that way. Anyway, enough about our business. Scaling to six figures and beyond is possible. But this was a clickbait title. This was something that I wanted you to click on to watch this video. Please do not be under the um, belief that everybody is making a lot of money online. Not everybody is making money online. And the people who shout loudest about making money online are the people who aren't making money online. Um, it is really sad that I um, do know there's a lot of people out there who are saying that they're making certain things and, and they're not necessarily. You'll hear people talk about it and they've never mentioned anything about VAT that they pay. They're not charging any VAT. And you kind of think, hang on a second, you say you're making all this money, but you don't charge VAT. Well, how can that be? How can that be right? You must, are you VAT registered? And if they're not VAT registered, then they're not making six figures because we all know the VAT threshold is 85,000. So take everything that you see online with a pinch of salt, keep doing amazingly. Um, it's really 
the best thing to just give tons of value and support your clients if you do that it you will grow you will grow your network people will talk about you people will say how amazing and incredible you are um so keep going if you've loved this video please do leave any comments or um any support that you need do do let me know in the comments below and i'll link some of our free resources for you too and um, so you can grab those and better support your business take care and see you soon